Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator episode. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Rex Weather Force. That's an addition or an add on to Microsoft Flight Simulator. It has a METAR based dynamic real time weather engine specifically for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, uh, I'm going to have the link down in the description if you guys would like to go ahead and purchase it. I I'm not an affiliate. I do not make any any money from actually putting the link down below. It is directly to a download where you guys can actually purchase it for yourself from their store. So I definitely recommend that you guys, if you are interested in purchasing it, that you just click on that and then, you know, you don't have to worry about giving me any type of affiliate profit off of that. So I'm just going to quickly kind of go over a lot of the different things. I have yet to purchase this for myself. This is just kind of an update letting you guys know that it is now available. And if you guys would like to purchase it, you definitely can go ahead and get into it. Now, there's a lot of really cool functions and features that are available specifically with, with the weather, making honestly Microsoft Flight Simulator the one of the best opportunities to experience the weather in any type of condition all around the world. And I know that there was a lot of people that were kind of doing the the hurricane follow uh, and they weren't really experiencing any type of real time weather. This should actually allow us to actually have that happen. So you can actually do weather search. You can actually, there's, uh, it's, it's unique. Uh, there's been a lot of tests and a lot of showcases where if you guys are going into different areas and it's a crystal clear sky, that's probably not accurate. It could be some kind of weather bug that is still happening within Microsoft Flight Simulator, where if you put it on clear sky and then load up weather force, then it actually will populate whatever the real weather is in that specific airport. So maybe it's uh, maybe it's foggy. Maybe there's just a few scattered clouds, whatever it might actually be, but it's going to be pretty cool to actually uh, to see all of this actually in action. Um, again, this is just a an overview of everything that you guys can actually see with it. You can track the weather. It's, it has a simple um, application interface behind the scenes and things like that. And then it obviously has different pictures about kind of what it should look like. So this is obviously depicting what uh, the weather engine inside of Microsoft Flight Simulator should be or says it is. And this is what real life is. And then we got the crystal clear, like I was mentioning earlier. And these are some of the things that I was talking about. And then there's a few scattered clouds. It also has a few scattered clouds, but this is actually what it looks like. A lot more overcast. And then you have something with, you know, very few, but it's actually a lot more cloudy uh, in, rea in reality. So, and it actually has a lot more um, of the the wind gusts that are actually more natural where as right now there's still some issues even with the latest patch and even some of the patches that are coming out that there really isn't anything that is very noticeable with the change that you might be saying hey you have a crosswind of of uh you know 30 knots but then when you, when you finally get really close to the airport you're actually only getting a crosswind of like two knots um, it's still present in my simulator, and I did a full restart just the other day after the update just to see if it would change anything. And some things got better. Some things stayed the same. I can't say that anything actually got worse after the last update, but uh, that is kind of what it is. All right, so I'm just going to quickly go over everything, which we kind of been already kind of have anyway. Um, and I don't want to necessarily read this uh like word for word, but the the data is updated six times an hour and it's downloaded directly from the NOAA and can provide accurate results within one eighth mile of any given point. Weather Force utilizes unique built in algorithms to combine both METAR and model data to cover spaces, areas such as deserts and oceans. The GFS Global Forecast System model data is downloaded twice daily from NCEP and provides key atmospheric conditions and gives a snapshot of temperature and winds aloft. So that's that's actually pretty cool. And then a lot of this other stuff we kind of have already taken a look at. But I recommend that you guys maybe consider purchasing it. I'm going to be purchasing it probably fairly, fairly soon. But what I like about this is you get the changing weather dynamics. So Weather Force ships with a ride range 
of dynamic changing weather scenarios. The weather scenarios are dynamic unlike the static default presets in Microsoft Flight Simulator. The weather force weather scenarios dramatically or dynamically um, changes uh, over time and provides various elements of changing weather over the course of your flight. There we go. So examples that are provided fair weather, approaching cold front, approaching warm front, hot and humid summer, lake effect snows, st winter storms, crisp winter, breezy, spring showers, etc. So that's what's really cool about this specific engine or this plug-in for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Definitely go ahead and check it out. But that is all the time that I have for in today's episode. If you guys did find it helpful or enjoyable, then make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.